it's a very exciting time because the models are open in crosswinds and I'm excited about that because it's giving people ideas of what models are available to build here in Nankatee right now here in the southern end of uh, crosswinds and today we're looking at a Sebring model by Riverside Homes and so because pricing has gotten so high here in Nankatee this has become a very viable floor plan by local builder Riverside Homes and uh, it says here on the sheet 2,267 2, square feet, three bedroom, two bath, but you can make this a 2,600 square foot home with five bedrooms if you wanted to. So a lot of options is this floor plan and today we're going to take a quick look at it because not only can you build this here in Crosswinds, it's a 40 foot lot product, but I believe there'll be very good options to do that in the next phase of Seabrook as well. Now, there's no guarantee, but it's best to be prepared because um, certainly this could be a viable option here in Crosswinds or perhaps the next phase of Nocatee. So let's go check it out. This is where your two car garage would go. And here we are entering this, the Sebring. I always like having a little porch area here, obviously, to be able to sit out front and check out what's going on in the neighborhood. And as you enter the Sebring, you'll notice right off the bat, very tall ceilings that lead up to your loft area. And in this case here, you've got a luxury plank vinyl, which is becoming the most popular trend right now. To your left here, no wasted space. Underneath the stairwell, plenty of storage area. To your right, Coming out of your two car garage, you have a bag drop area. And your laundry room outside the garage. And of course this one's fully loaded with upgrades, the sink and cabinets, all upgrades. Notice the eight foot doors. Here you have a half bath for your guests. And then as you come into the Sebring, you'll notice a nice large open floor plan. Dining is to the left, and then your kitchen to the right. So people ask me how I do this all by myself some days. Sometimes I actually submit people that are joining me here, visiting from Hey, Alpharetta, sir. Georgia. Alpharetta, Georgia. <laughs> so I'm submitting my uh, buyer here that came to visit me to my YouTube video. He said he didn't mind coming on, so we're keeping it real. What do you think about this floor plan, man? Beautiful. Yeah. So it's got a great layout. Yeah. And uh, the upstairs is very, very uh, beneficial for three kids. Okay. Yep. Very good. I like that feedback. So right off the kitchen here, these are options too. Double, uh, double ovens, if you like, with the with the drawer uh, microwave, you have the gas stove. This is certainly an upgrade gourmet kitchen, double stack cabinets. Um, nice little island here where you're still part of the, the living room space. And then you have dining right across from here. Who doesn't like a, a little pantry here with plenty of shelving? Another good option for you here is those tall sliders. Of course, the uh, tray ceilings is another upgrade, which I highly recommend that makes this living room feel a lot more spacious. Uh, Riverside Homes is a local builder, very well known for uh, their popular floor plans. Uh, the Sebring, which we're walking through now, this master bedroom has been pushed out three feet here. And then also known for the Sawyer model, if you want to build on a 50-foot lot, this Sebring's built on a 40-foot lot. 
Again, little things I really appreciate are these pocket doors to the bathroom, for sure. Notice Riverside Homes also offer smooth walls in their houses, which is not an upgrade, it's just normal. Love these eight foot doors. Again, really making it feel spacious. Double vanity here in the primary bath. You can offer a standalone tub or extend that shower. And then your WC with a pocket door and then the master closet in this Sebring, which definitely you're gonna wanna do some cabinetry or California closet to utilize the space better. Now I know in crosswinds you can build this home for a uh, a better price probably than you will on the Seabrook area of Nocatee because Seabrook is right next to the Seabrook Park with all the amenities. You're paying a little bit more on the lot premium and base price. We don't know what the next phase of uh, Seabrook is going to be costing as far as lot premiums, but probably a little bit more than here in Crosswinds. Now the old Sebring, the you didn't have as big of a lot, but they definitely pushed out this um, loft area. For those of you that are used to basements, this is what we call our basement here in Florida. Not really comparable, but nice little area for family upstairs. And then in the back up here, they added another bedroom. So downstairs you have the primary, and then upstairs you have these two bedrooms here. window, walk-in closet, bedroom number two, also with the walk-in closet. These two bedrooms share a bath, single vanity, double combination, uh, tub, shower combo. And then across from that bathroom is a linen closet. Not very exciting, but you got to have that closet space. And of course, they did the tray ceiling upgrade, which makes it feel a little more spacious in here in the loft area. Then down on this section, you have your AC closet up here. And then another two bedrooms on this side. This one has a lot more windows. This bedroom here, bedroom number three, double door closet bedroom number four double door closet on this side so these four bedrooms two and two separated with a loft this has a double vanity bath with a window and the bathroom shower tub combo So definitely you have four bedrooms up here. Some people, since this Sebring, the only downfall for it for some people is it does not have a uh, office study on the bottom floor. So a lot of my buyers are opting for utilizing one of these bedrooms over here for an office. But Or if both of you work from home, then you can have your offices on this side and then the two bedrooms over on this side. Um, so depending on what your situation is. So you have the primary downstairs and then the option have four bedrooms upstairs. No study on the bottom, no office or flex room. Um, but, you know, we're looking at just under 2,600 square feet, I believe, with all these upgrades. And again, it's an opportunity to get a home with lots of bedrooms, lots of space in the 700s say mid 700 range depending on how crazy you go in the design center but there's structural options you have to do you know like i always say on my videos this extended lanai is just an absolute must because this is this is an extension of living area if you decide to screen it in or even expand further put a pool back there but you have options and Beautiful thing is you can build this in crosswinds for a little less money. Um, some of the lots do 
slant it down in the back, so maybe limited on what you can do with a pull, but the footprint of a Sebring does allow for more yard than some of the other models. That's the back of the Sebring. And this, this would be beautiful on a, a nice pie-shaped lot. So de depending what Nocatee's doing in this next phase, which here's a lot of stuff right now, um, there could be an opportunity to build this on a really nice lot if you're prepared. So um, it'd be good to have a good real estate professional like myself that lives in the area that's tied in with all the builders and uh, sales reps have a lot of builds going currently with them. So um, don't wait for them to announce it. Uh, get yourself prepared now. Figure out the floor plan, whether it's a Sebring or a Sawyer or whatnot. There's going to be limited opportunities here in Nogatee as we're winding it down here. Uh, I think the developer wants to get out of here by the end of 2027. So not a lot of opportunities. It costs you nothing uh, as a buyer to have representation and advocate on your behalf. Um, talk to a lot of buyers that are super pleased with the services that I provide, helping them pick out the right lot, um, staying within budget on your structural budget, structural options, things that you must, that you should be getting. Um, the value, for instance, between a nine foot slider um, or, or upgrading that for the, for a least amount of money on structural options, those kind of things, extending the lanai. Um, and then also I have somebody that uh, accompanies all my buyers to design center to help them through that process because that's a super stressful process picking out tiles countertops grout colors so it's good to have somebody um, there to advise you through that process as well and also if you're from out of town just to have video and check in on your builder for, build from time to time uh, it's an a, it's an eight to ten month process so um, it's nice to have a little bit more uh updates on video rather than just random pictures from your builder sales rep the builder sales rep works for the builder uh not for you so it costs you nothing to have an advocate on your behalf it's a marketing fee to them they pay the the commissions to the agents they're not going to discount you if you don't have an agent uh the prices are the price they don't want to lower their comps by um trying to lower a price just based on whether or not you're using an agent in fact they encourage and prefer to you to have an agent so that you're prepared and uh you're working as a team through this build process my name is greg i'm here in crosswinds at a riverside sebring home uh, i look forward to meeting you uh, my number and my information will be in the description below also pinned in the comments um, call me and check out the rest of my videos here in nocti i'll see you on that next one